don't know. Hello everyone and welcome so welcome to Hello everyone and welcome to my video. Thank you so so much for clicking on it. I really appreciate it. I'm so happy you're here. So in light of the new Spider-Man movie and Spider-Man and spiders being cool, um, I thought why not go ahead and do a video where I show you some of my favorite spiders that I have. If you don't know me, I'm a spider girl. I collect spiders. I love spiders. I hold them. I'm crazy. I just really, really love spiders. I don't know. So anyways, I thought I would go ahead and show you some of my favorite spiders in my collection because people are always asking me to pick favorites. And it's really hard. Without any further ado, let's jump into some of my favorite spiders. And if anyone knows anyone who can like get me cast as like Mary Jane in any of the upcoming Spider-Man things, um, call me. First up, I'm going to go ahead and say my Velvet Spider. I already took out my Velvet Spider and bothered it for some videos on my TikTok, which you can go and follow. Same name as here, Slightly Venomous, spelled the exact same way. If you want to see more close-ups of me holding Blueberry the Velvet Spider, because right now I don't want to um, mess with them because I already did and I tried to not mess with them. This is Blueberry, my velvet spider. They are known for being very cute and having an adorable face. They are actually really expensive and quite hard to find. Um, I'm really happy I have one, but I did pay a lot more than I should have. Number one. So this is Blueberry, my velvet spider. I'm not gonna take Blueberry out because like I said, I had them out doing some TikToks with me. But yeah, Blueberry is really adorable. Super, super cute spider. Velvet spiders are known for being adorable. And Blueberry is actually the only spider in my collection that's bit me, so. Thanks, Blueberry. Another spider in my collection that I really love is my Black Widow. It's fun because a lot of people are really shocked when I say that I have a pet Black Widow. They think that it's going to bite me, which it can't because it's secured in this enclosure. And I also don't handle my animals that have medically significant venom because I don't have health insurance and I'm not trying to die. You probably won't die from a Black Widow bite. Sorry if I insinuated that. That's not what I meant. I'm just saying I don't want to go to the hospital because I'll be in debt forever, you know? So yeah, this is Peaches, my Southern Black Widow. And she really just chills and eats. She's a good spider, I mean, I can't complain. So here's my Black Widow, Peaches. She's really cool, she has a lot of webbing going on in here. She has her little Black Widow marking. Oh my God, my hand's shaking. I'm bad at holding things with one hand, but yeah, here's Peaches. This is actually a brand new spider and I'm so excited about it, so I want to share it. Um, I got this one recently from my really good friends over at Micro Wilderness. I am not paid by them in any way, but this was my Christmas gift because we're friends. So um, I got it a Phonopelma Myco something, but it's a really cool confirmed female of an awesome Phonopelma species. Girl. That's her in there. I gotta get her housed up into a nice enclosure, but she is beautiful and I am so happy to have her in my life. Here is the Afona Palma that female that I got as my Christmas gift from Micro Wilderness. She is so beautiful. Looks kind of like a Calcody. She's a little more red to me and a little more um, color variation from the carrot paste of the abdomen, but she's absolutely beautiful. I love her. I need a name. One of my absolute favorite spiders that I have, and this is such an underrated spider because I think I literally paid $5 for it from Bugs in Cyberspace, and it's such a good investment because I can really work with this spider and um, show people. I've used it a lot on my TikTok to do videos of me holding this spider to show that they're not harmful and they're not gonna bite you. So this is the black hole spider. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Um, and yeah, they're really easy to handle. They're really cool spiders. Um, 
not super popular in the pet spider trade but i love this spider because it's really easy to interact with and i feel like i can show people that spiders aren't that scary and that you shouldn't squish them so yeah black hole spider <laughs> if i can just get him off me black hole spider is a little stressed um so we're not gonna get the best view but that's what it looks like So another favorite, and amongst people who like tarantulas, this species is always a crowd pleaser, and that is the Gramostola pulchra, or Brazilian black tarantula. They're so cool. What is not to love about a huge solid black spider? I mean, come on. This is Binks. Named after Thackeray Binks in Hocus Pocus, so. A really, really cool spider. Here is Binks, the Gramostola pulchra. These are just really beautiful, solid black spiders. So cool, so beautiful. Yeah, if you collect spiders, you need one of these for sure. A staple in any tarantula collector's collection. They're so cool. So it's not a spider, but it is an arachnid. And that is the tailless whip scorpion. These guys are awesome. They look so freaking crazy and cool. Ah. Oh, he almost ran away. So this is him. And they are just such awesome arachnids. They actually have no venom, so they will not give you any powers if they bite you, but they're still pretty cool nonetheless. They were featured in one of the Harry Potter movies, fun fact, um, but they were portrayed as something really dangerous and they're totally not. The only downside is that they do move really fast. Okay, another spider that I feel like does not get enough love because they're actually amazing is the wolf spider. I have one right here. I'll show you a better look on the close up because they are really fast and I have had a couple get away on me and they're really hard to catch again once they're underneath your sofa. So I'll show you a close up. I'm not gonna take the lid off for now but I just think they're so cute and they're so underrated because they're very common, especially in the United States. So people don't really see them as something cool or interesting, but I think they are, right? They're so cool. So here is a look at one of my wolf spiders. I feel like they just have a really cute face. It's very underrated because everyone thinks jumping spiders are super cute and I agree they are, but look at that little face. So I do have a ton of tarantulas, so I'm going to try not to bore you with showing every tarantula I have. I do have a video where I show every tarantula in my collection, so you can check that out if you want to see them. In here, that's actually my first tarantula I ever got. Believe it or not, she's actually almost three years old. And um, she is a Gramostola Pulcropes named Luna, and I love her because she is the tarantula that first got my collection going. Um, I had her and I felt really good about it, so I decided to get more. Here's Luna. My very first tarantula, Gramostola Pulcropes or Chaco Golden Knee, a really beautiful, super cute spider. And she was hiding, so I'm gonna let her go back. So um, I think that's probably all I'm gonna show you for today. I have so many spiders I really love. Ah, uh, bubbles. I just wanted to keep it really simple and really quick and just show you a couple of the really interesting ones that I really like. So I really hope you enjoyed so much. I really appreciate you watching. And I guess we'll see you again next time, right?